Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, we're learning from number 77. Hey, quote. Sadly, some people will fall to hell, fall to the hell of beasts and be born as animals in the next life. Words for building character. Number 77. Sadly, some people will fall to the hell of beasts and be born as animals in the next life. Thank you, Lord God. All right. Uh... This is one of the astonishing uh, truth that Master Okawa has revealed to us recently, um, included in the teachings, is included in the Kyoten, the Laws of Hell, and a very, very important Kyoten. If you haven't read it, please do. Please share it with friends. Uh, the book that humanity needs to read right now. Anyhow, uh, you reap what you sow, the laws of cause and effect. The Alcantara's teachings, Buddhist teachings regarding hell is very descriptive, and you can see the the uh, link between the cause and effect of how you live now, what sort of mind you have now, what sort of actions you take now in this life, leads to what sort of hell you end up in. Um, it's very rational, and it makes a whole lot of sense. So if you grew up in a Christian background, not being able to believe in hell because it sounds like a fairy tale, uh, I really recommend you reading this Kyoten and understand it in a form of an education of how real hell can be. And going back to today's, com today's sentence, uh, this is a fearful truth. Um, you know how if you live like an animal, uh, meaning you don't have a dignity as a human being. So doing the opposite of building character, but um, digressing as a human being, regressing as a human being, uh, and you end up being like an animal, which means you only act um, based on uh, your own merits, you're selfish, uh, you're only thinking about yourself, you base all of your judgments on self-preservation and self-protection, um, and you have no love and you have no faith. Then, uh, that means that you're an animal. You see, Master has taught us the big difference between a human and an animal is, one, uh, human beings have faith. We can believe in things in, that we cannot see with our physical eyes, and we can believe in a higher power. Uh, two, Love. And what I mean by love, some people say, oh, animals have love too. Um, of course, like pet animals, things like that. But, but that's not what he means here. Like love, being able to love someone who has no, absolutely no uh, merits towards you. Um, being able to love or forgive, even forgive someone. Uh, that's something that is a trait that a human can have. And we hardly see in any sort of animals. So, if you lose faith, if you don't have love, if you end up living like an animal, just living upon your desires, worldly desires, um, that's where you end up in hell. And then you can be reborn as an animal, as a training experience. When you're reborn as an animal, when a human soul is reborn as an animal, that is when they understand how grateful it must, uh, they should have been being born as a human. Being able to communicate with words. That is something to be very grateful for. Animals cannot do that. You see how babies are always crying because they cannot, you know, um, communicate and like uh, help, and they cannot um, let the other person understand what they're going through. That's pain. That's why they cry. So they go through this pain throughout their whole life. Sorry, the time is up, but this is the scariest truth. What did you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.